another interesting phenomenon that i see with my patients is you know somebody might get diagnosed with certain things and the first thing that they go and do is go and search in google what is going on what does this mean and one of the problems of searching google with your medical conditions is we will get half baked diagnosis and you're going to have oceanic opinions of what this could be what this couldn't be and due to our confirmed negative bias you know we are worried what if it's this what should we do there is a high tendency let's say you have a sore throat or let's say you are having a running nose there will be articles that could be cancer you could find that and then there is a high possibility you will end up finding that as one of the first things that you will see and then this will play with that mind and maybe there'll be sleepless nights for that patient because of that so one problem whenever pa- patients go through certain conditions especially if it's an autoimmune condition it it hits them very bad and they go into the google and they keep searching and one thing that they're going to keep looking at is there is no treatment very difficult to find treatment it's incurable there is no cause that we do not know what is the cause and when you keep reading all of this it just plays that you know the devil's mind just overpowers them and that makes their life entirely miserable and they are like nobody can help me and then they will come to a self diagnosis maybe my days are numbered and things cannot be changed and i have to live with this and actually if we i'm just giving a hypothetical analysis if we do a research patients who go through a lot of depressive moments after they get diagnosed with certain disease or they go through certain symptoms you will see a lot of this can be contributed with anxiety of not knowing what to do and they read a lot of information in the internet so we have this term called google anxiety because of that and in these conditions what i tell them is yes that is what you see on the website or the internet but that is not the reality maybe there is a lot of truth to it maybe there's only half the truth i was speaking to a very uh, well known renowned trauma specialist from united states and he was telling so is it okay if we tell that one disease is incurable so what that person is saying we don't have any right to call a disease incurable maybe right now till now so far with what we know it is incurable that doesn't mean it is incurable for the rest of our life so many diseases that we are able to cure right now or reverse right now at one point time it was irreversible or incurable because we didn't know what are the tools and techniques that were required so there is a huge scope for reversal or minimizing the severity of the disease or things that can be improved but the problem because of the way our mind plays and the mind wants to know what could be the worst case scenario especially if you have a symptom always go for an expert opinion and give more weightage to the expert opinion rather than what you see from internet and this is a dark hole once you enter there it can really suck you up and i have seen people go into deep depressions because they read it in the news uh, in the not in the news i mean in the internet that once you have this it's very difficult to reverse and somebody would have said that and maybe later they realize oh this is not true but till that till they find that there is another way possible they lost their whole time in losing it they just lost their mental peace because of that so i always tell this is one of the things whenever i tell patients who come with maybe they had this diagnosis previously but before them they would have become uh, a phd holder in that just by reading all the news or all the articles all the web pages that are available in the google search and then they tell me doctor this is there this is there this is there and one of the worst things a doctor can get is a patient who is behaving like a doctor then that makes it very difficult for us to connect with that patient and see what is possible because what have you tell them oh this is not going to be possible because i read that this can lead to this and that so the patient is not open so here we need to have a lot of unlearning and relearning and learning what is really important so i usually tell patients yes that is what you read but that need not be the reality there's you know the saying map is not the real territory map is just a reference you know reference point it's just a drawing that could symbolize what is there same way what you are going through there could be a possibility this is the truth but it doesn't mean it is the truth 
it's only an indication but the problem with our mind there is no gray zone it's it it's always binary it's either this or i am diagnosed and i'm going to die or i'm going to suffer for the rest of my life that's how the mind takes it so we have to be ultra cautious and filter what we read when we go through certain things sometimes it helps but always do your best to reach out to a professional who has knowledge about this that will give you the right approach that rather than going through but sometimes i've also seen uh, i should also mention the other side of it once a patient goes through a doctor and the doctor tells no there's no way you can deal with it you are going to suffer for the rest of your life and then you know you have this word called nocebo effect nocebo effect is the opposite of placebo effect placebo effect means i give you something even though it's just inert it could be a sugar pill and tell you this will heal you from this and this that belief could help to turn around the same thing like nocebo effect i give someone this and even though it could be just a sugar pill and that it's very poisonous and you have consumed this is going to create a lot of problem that person can believe themselves and create a problem because just by his strong negative emotions that could you know change his hormonal patterns in the body and it could create another problems in the same way sometimes patients go to a doctor and they could get some ultimatum but then they are like somewhere deep inside they feel no this can't be true i will find a way out somewhere inside their mind they convince i'll find a way out those people they utilize what is available in the internet for the right reasons they find a way maybe there is another practitioner or there is another method there is another technique i could use this but sometimes it could also go the wrong way with, with, without taking the right approach sometimes i've seen patients they read that doing these kind of therapies will help me heal but they missed out what is actually required so you need to find a middle path always go for your second opinion try to see if you are not able to but somewhere you need to understand there is a space where you have to trust but if you keep doubting constantly this can lead to a lot of problems and usually as a doctor what i do is i always try to make them understand your anxiety or your fear is coming from these 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 and these are what you read and let's look what is the truth behind that and who said that and what could be the possibility and did they say that that has been the condition so far and all throughout maybe there are new research that are happening that could reverse your condition maybe there are other people who did this and reverse the condition first is always question them do you really have all the information to come to conclusion that what you're going through is irreversible or you're going to die because of this first question is this is what we need to ask and what information make you believe this is the case and then understand the source of this information and then also understand are you able to go to a good doctor who has a good reputation good reviews and somebody else also told you good things about this doctor and then when you are able to listen from that doctor maybe we have to take in a call understanding what is the next course of action that needs to be done so the underlying factor is if you have a symptom going to internet and finding out what that symptom don't believe it completely it can lead to a lot of problems and if you get it from a good health practitioner or a doctor or somebody who knows what they are talking about and then there is a high possibility that you will get much better advice there rather than going to an oceanic world of multiple opinions that are compiled together so this is where it's very important that you get the advice from the right source it could be the right source could be from a good website that has the information about that what is required what is not required but i always tell one thing beware of fear mongers this is very dangerous sometimes it is important to take the precautions but the moment you see somebody is fear mongering you to to such an extent i'm not saying th- there could in certain cases you might need that fearful understanding of what is going on but if you constantly see a fear mongering be careful with that this is not helpful and this can actually play with your mind and you will be get possessed with those thoughts and you will get into a self destructive thought loop and that will take over you so that's why i always tell patients please don't fall into the trap of google anxiety take it step by step these are the symptoms do i have all the information and is this information coming from the right source 
and maybe did i also have a second opinion from a good doctor maybe another doctor who has better experiences with treating these things and what are the other alternative sources that i can should get and then come to an informed decision what needs to be done but always have a knowledge that always have a belief that i will find a way out maybe it's not as good as going to reverse it completely maybe it's just minimizing the severity or maybe making my rest of the life much easier in spite of going through this problems but i will find a way to make things better and i will find a way out having that belief and then taking the next step will help you to guide to the right direction so this is what i tell patients who are obsessed with reading about everything in the internet because it's like news news talks about that there are 100 great things happening in the world but they will be talking about one incident that is so negative among all the 100 incidents there will be 0.001 person that is going wrong in the world and if you just keep feeding yourself this and that's what's going to take over you and that's the only thing that's going to you are going to think about and that will become your real real perceived real reality and that's where many people enter into mental health problems because of this and that mental health will also contribute to other health issues that will make things much worse they sleep they'll become sleepless or their sleep becomes very deprived or light sleepers and that impacts their recovery and when their impact is then when their recovery is impacted that leads to other gut health problems or maybe they start emotional eating and then it will start impacting their relationship and they don't know how to communicate what's going on and then it just goes on it's like a domino effect that leads to a lot of self destructive patterns so that's why it's very important question things and learn to get good information that is your best talent that you can do when you're going through certain physical conditions